Now here's the group contribution grading. Now, based on this group, right, let's open up group number three. We can see that the grade that each student receives is slightly different. So the first thing you would do is, well, I can see, you know, based on all the criteria that they've been reviewed on, the students have reviewed each other, right? This is how well they've been doing. Now, skipping past that, we input the group project grade. So this is how well the group did. Now, based on how they've been reviewed back there, like back here, we get something called a group contribution factor. What that essentially is, is how well each student did relative to the average of the group. Okay, so student number six has a group contribution factor of one. That means student six did the exact performed on the average of the group. If it was above one, they would be overperforming relative to the group. If it was below one, they would be underperforming relative to the group, which is how student one did. Therefore, student one will get their grade reduced. It'll be individualized in that sense. So the suggested adjustment is actually minus 75. So to give student one a zero. So I could do that and say, well, you know what? Student one was actually ill for some of that. So I'll under I understand. I'm actually just going to reduce it by minus 30 to be a little bit more compassionate. Therefore, here's how we individualize the project grade. How this is generated really is an algorithm. We have an algorithm that generates this group contribution factor and feeds into the overall suggested adjustment, which then feeds into the grade. We also have something that feeds into the algorithm, which is the self to peer assessment ratio. And this is how well the students did relative to how they perceive they did. Meaning a student did well, but they maybe perceive themselves as not doing as well, then their self to peer assessment ratio is smoothened out. Uh, essentially, it's just how well they think they did versus how well they are perceived by others. And these two factors go into the suggested adjustment. So in a nutshell, group contribution factor is how well you did relative to your peers in the group. Self to peer assessment ratios, how well you self assess yourself relative to how others assessed you. Those two factors, algorithm figures it out, gives you a suggested adjustment to individualize the group project grade which you input.